Ladies and gentlemen, for one night only, set in Battersea Cats and Dogs Home, Music Box presents to you, Woof Me Out, the musical! <laughs> Susan, it's just, this is the, the epidemic that we're facing, you know, if, if people don't take these dogs and cats home, then there's only one place for them to go. Jennifer, we have to find a way. We have to start a new campaign. We can't have more like Filbert. But we put Filbert on the advert with his one good leg and his bicycle and his floppy hair and his half an eye. It's not enough. It's not enough. We need to do open days with cake. We, we need to bring children here and make them play games. We've got to make sure every dog finds a home and every cat runs out on its own and occasionally Susan, comes back. I love your passion for dogs and cats. You're absolutely right. If we can get children to come here and fall in love with the dogs and cats, then exactly. their mums and dads will have to buy them and take them home because well, no one likes to say no to a child. They can guilt their parents into it, can't yes. they? It's a perfect plan, Susan. So, place a banner on the front, above the door. Just get filled in the incinerator. Put some cake out and
made any friends yet? No, but it's only my fourth day, so I wouldn't expect to have made any friends yet. No, I haven't made any friends yet. And the bigger boys took all my conkers. I didn't even have any conkers! Ah, uh, I feel better now. That was a weird noise. <laughs> That's my inner <laughs> anguish. Your well, inner anguish has its own voice. It has its own voice. What was it saying then? Why, oh why, does a child have an existential crisis? <laughs> Where's he from? <laughs> general European. <laughs> a general European child's voice of anguish? That's right. When do I get mine? When you reach maturity. Oh, you're very mature for a ten-year-old. That's because my dad's a philosopher. <laughs> He's always making me read Descartes and Nietzsche. And he's saying, feel your inner anguish, boy. Feel the world grinding down on top of you. No wonder you've got so many social problems when you've got such a hard home life, Ben. I know. At least we're friends, though, Sally. At least we're friends, Ben. <laughs> no one else at this school likes us, but at least we're friends. <laughs> at least we're friends. And, and I guess your inner voice of anguish, who comes from somewhere in Europe, is sort of our friend, too. Twat! Ah! <laughs> you shouldn't say words like that. We don't pitch. Ow! Uh, I've got your conkers, you prick! <laughs> They put him in the furnace this morning. <laughs> now I'm glad that drug addict that found me cut off my nose. <laughs> I lost only my tail. I got lucky. But you... Did you? He went too! What? Lucky! Did he go too? No, no. <laughs> Lucky's all right. Okay. Yeah, yes. No, well, I say I'm that, but... Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm just in the next cage. Well, Lucky is just Can't ahead. Don't scare me like that, Brian. No, no, it's all right. He's fine. 
Well, I say, find within the confines of being just ahead. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Memphis, you know. Thank you. Thank you, Lucky. He keeps showing up about that. Yes, he, he does. Tim. Tim, I wonder if you or I are next for the furnace. I can't lie to you, Brian. That thought had crossed my mind once or twice. Oh. You know, this, this place used to be full of life and love and love life, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> now it is but a dank cage. It stinks of, of death, feces, and abandonment. <laughs> Those are three very complicated scents. Mummy, mummy, I want a puppy. Oh. oh. Never mind, can I have a Tamagotchi? No, it's what's inside. <laughs> we are more demon than animal now, Tim. We are shunned and despised by all. Not me! <laughs> I'm your friend! Lucky's uh, receptors have been cut. There's not much left of him, but his buoyant spirit and joyful demeanor really are perhaps all that's left to make our hideous days worth another breath. <laughs> Sometimes I wish that dogs didn't have sentience, because then I wouldn't know what's going to befall us. <laughs> Tim, I've forgotten what it is to know love. I don't know its smell anymore. Hey, hey, Brian. What is a dog without an owner? What is a dog without a nose? What is a beast unloved and shunned? What is a dog with no one to love? What is a dog if he doesn't? with their families here without a special license. Well, is that because we've brought so much alcohol? <laughs> it could be that. It could also be the stash of cocaine. I don't know. <laughs> Me and I just thought it might incentivise. Yeah. But basically, until we get the license, we can't eh, do it. But, uh, don't be disheartened, Susan. I mean... Disheartened? I've gone from being a 63-year-old child to to being an old age pensioner beyond death. <laughs> no one's beyond death. I am right now. Think of, 
Think of love, not death. Think well, how are we going to talk and round, Jennifer? Look, we need to protest like the suffragettes protest. I'll only eat Brussels sprouts for four days. <laughs> that, would, that would smell awful, Susan. Um, <laughs> listen, whenever I'm down, and, like when we have to put them to sleep, you, you always cheer me up. And I don't think I've ever said this to you, but you're sort of like a mum to me, Susan. And I'll be damned if I let my mum down. Oh, I can see a, a plan ruminating, yes. Jennifer. I'm just picking one up. It. <laughs> right, I've got it. Is Pack it? the dogs. <laughs> Pack the dogs. <laughs> Pack them. We've got backpacks with RSPCA and that we stole from there because we're Battersea Dogs Home. <laughs> let's, let's take those bags we stole, rebrand them as Battersea Cats and Dogs Home bags. Put and the, take the yes, dogs to the councilman. That's council my point, woman. yes. I'm glad we'll you read my mind. We'll put them on our backs. Yes. And we'll go to the councilman and we'll say, if you don't allow us this licence, we're setting these dogs on you. <laughs> oh, no, Susan. We tried violence. It didn't work. I, I have not tried a lot of violence in my life. That's a good thing. Do you think? I, yes. I, I did once headbutt a wall for four days. That, that explains a lot, Susan. Four days is my favourite length of time. Well, for four days, we will take the dogs and cats out of their cages on tour. That's right. You mean we're going to treat them, teach them tricks and everything? Yes, we're going to teach them tricks. I've heard most of them know 15, including morphing into devils. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to take them past the primary schools. We're going to take them to the playgrounds. We're going to take them, though we will need to muzzle some of them, to the parks. I see what you're saying. Instead of letting the people come here, we'll take the dogs there. Yes. Who can say no to a, a lovely puppy running through the fields, sniffing at people's feet? You're genius, Jennifer. Genius. It's because I don't give up, Susan. You taught me that. That's right. Take the dogs and take them out. Take the dogs and scream and shout. Pack them in a bag. It won't be. or the physical pain. Well, you look pretty awful with that black eye and, and the scratches, so I'd say probably that, but then again, I haven't heard from your voice of anguish in a while, so I don't know how you're feeling. I release you, Brian. <laughs> Biggest dog I've ever seen. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, look at this noseless dog, it's adorable. <laughs> You've got a bruised eye and scratches all down your paws, <laughs> just like me. You Are you my existential voice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ben, Ben, isn't that a dog? 
Because I can see him too, I think. The voice of Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Fido! Oh, I've missed you so. I didn't know I missed you, but now I've met you, I do. <laughs> <laughs> what strange love is this? Curious though he is, this boy is showing me a love I had hitherto forgotten. <laughs> oh, how he rubs me in just the right place. <laughs> You seem hardship just like me. You've got no nose, and I've got no friends other than Ben, and he talks to his own innocence of anguish, so I feel like we could be friends. Hello, little puppy. <laughs> shunned because of our missing parts. We loathed and shunned too and we don't even have missing parts. They just say we're really boring. <gasps> we're all freaks. We're all freaks. We're all freaks. Oh, 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 oh. We're all freaks. Oh, 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 oh. Such a beautiful thing. Now, now all we need to do is, is to get their parents to sign the legal forms and, and that's two more we don't have to put to sleep. Well, I'm sure their parents are reasonable if we just follow them home, because that won't be weird. Yes, not too close. You don't want to get arrested again, Susan. I can't help it. I don't understand personal space. I know. <laughs> One day we'll learn. I think they they went ah. to that house there. Okay. I absolutely forbid it. There will be no dogs in this house. Oh, but Michael, just because you're a philosopher doesn't mean that you can't have a dog running around. Think of Ben. He needs a friend other than that girl that always follows him around. He's a philosopher. I, I, I've got a degree in philosophy. I'm Holy sure shit, I could... Susan! I know. <laughs> no, Dad, well, please don't quote Nietzsche again. Oh. <laughs> a tongue is like a baby. It what? has no buds. You do the talking, Susan. I'll ring the doorbell and run. Ding dong. That was a fun see Hello, my, my name is Susan and I'm from Battersea Dog Zone. Dogs! <laughs> We've got quite enough dogs in here. Perhaps you could take them. Pavlov said, if two dogs are in a forest and a tree falls and no one hears it, does it really exist? 
<laughs> yes, it does, unless you're blind. <laughs> she has answered the riddle. <laughs> riddle me another one. Give me another reason why you can't make your children happy with dogs. Happiness is poison. Too much happiness becomes addiction. Well, Socrates was killed with the hemlock of poison. And what did it make him? Mainly dead, but also, like James Dean and Marilyn Monroe and, and other people that die young, it gave him a legendary status. Riddle me one more. Mind blown. <laughs> Animals and humans should not spend time together. Well, it's we forbidden. No, we know that's wrong. What did Mary ride to Jerusalem? It wasn't a Harley Davidson. That's a clue for you. And when when baby Jesus was in Tut stable, it wasn't just shepherds that turned up. They had to have had sheep. Otherwise, they would have made no fucking sense. You cannot have a shepherd without sheep. Therefore, the grand philosopher himself said that man and beast, when I say it should create union, I don't mean that in a weird way. <laughs> what I mean is, a puppy isn't just for Christmas, and baby Jesus was born at Christmas. I tied it all together. <laughs> I was the wisest, but I'm wrong. I thought I was the wisest, but I'm wrong. I thought I was the wisest, but I'm wrong. I thought I was the wisest. slightly younger than me. I'm, I'm 63 and I'm like a microwave dish that no one's ever popped. <laughs> well, it seems we have a few things to learn from each other. Mum! Dad's doing something weird outside! Not again! Darling, I'm afraid... I'm afraid it's over. If you're already married, I can't do that, no. sir. I'm sorry, but I can't. Did she solve all your philosophical riddles? Yes! I've been trying to do that for 25 years, You were great sir. in the bedroom. You cannot behave like Emmanuel Kant. I said Kant. <laughs> See, I just can't think of things like that. You it isn't cat. fair. Aww. Sign here. <laughs> well yes. done, Jennifer. You can't just leave her. I'm leaving you and I'm taking the cat. Oh, she's doing it for you. <laughs> well, in that case, <laughs> you are the most handsome creature I've ever seen. When I stroke you, will your leg flap up and down like a Labrador? I'm sure it will. I'll try it now. Oh. Fetch! I've only known how to love dogs, you see. When I was a child, I was an only child. But my, 
my parents wanted a top. They used to tie my ears behind my head before feeding me. Now I realise the reason I hated animals is because I always was one. <laughs> now I know who I am, I accept it. Thank you for bringing me home. <laughs> no, you've brought me home. Finding love this late in life has brought out the human in you and what are you doing? <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's strange, but I like it. I like it. If I had a tail now, it would be wagging so fast it would cause a tsunami somewhere. <laughs> you know, like the beating wings of a butterfly. I know. That nature said. You've never been loved before. Me whole life I've wanted children. That's why I always treated Jennifer like she was my daughter. She is good at that. She makes my sandwiches. She brushes my hair when I'm asleep. She doesn't have much personal space, but, but she's got a good heart. Oh. A new stepmom and a dog, can we? Oh God, have you been brother and sister this whole time? <laughs> That's so <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> It's weird, but we're, we're all freaks. We're, we're all freaks. No one else has been to us. I mean, we might not have known that until recently either, but it turns out we are. And I think we should have a new addition to the family. What do you say? What do you say, Father? Well, are they allowed to keep both dogs? <laughs> this one doesn't have a nose, so he's only half a dog, really. No, one, one can't speak about him like that. Just because he hasn't got a nose means he's just different. He speaks perfect English. Hello. Oh. <laughs> uh, now that I've learned that I am indeed half beast, why the hell not? I accept you into my home, young Tim. Sign here. Where's Brian? Oh, he's humping the sofa. Oh. Can we sign for him as well? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that's me done. We actually don't have any cats or dogs left. Do have a fuck ton of drugs. <laughs> That's true. Anybody want to come to Bath City for a bit of woof meow? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. 
That sounds like yeah. a party. Sign here, we need a disclaimer, I don't want to get sued. More sign. Thank you, I'm on side. I'm only 10, but I can't wait to try it. <laughs> don't tell the teachers or the police. I've got nothing to snort the cocaine with, but I'm still excited. <laughs> Badsy Dogs Home. If you have enjoyed the show, please go on to social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We're at Music Box Improv. There is another free ticket to a future show for the best social media post. So that's up for grabs. You know, we decide completely subjectively which one it is. Just because we like it, there's, it's not objective at all. So please go leave us a review, give us a like. And if you hated the show, come back again because it's always different. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. Thank you guys.